Uh, my name is Liz Jones and I've written a book called The Exmoor Files, which is about my move from London, where I lived a sort of perfect fashionista magazine maven life got divorced and moved to the countryside. The book starts when I arrive on a very cold evening in Exmoor to find the house that I bought. It's got no light bulbs, no fridge, no arger, um, and I'd come from such perfection to such a dump. And then I talk about how I split up with my husband. We were on holiday and I was reading his text messages and I found out that he'd been having numerous affairs with women who were slimmer and dimmer than I was. Um, and it was about sort of shedding him and embracing something else. And it's about really forging a relationship with a horse rather than a man, which is much more fulfilling. Because at first I couldn't catch my horse, I couldn't get in the stable with her, she'd attack me. Um, and it took, took a year, really, to gain her trust. And basically it's um, an ex well, it's an experiment, really, to see if a fashion editor, someone who's addicted to designer clothes, mad about Marnie, um, can go and live in the middle of nowhere, on the, in the middle of a moor, uh, with no fridge, um, growing my own vegetables, with only my sheepdog for company in the evenings. <laughs> um, so really stripping myself of all that nonsense that we've been told that we need you know, to make us happy. It doesn't make us happy. I've read Vogue since September 1975. I have every single issue. I believed I did what it told me to do. I've never gone to bed without cleansing and toning and moisturising. I never do it in the wrong order. I'm always doing it in that order. Um, and I think women don't realise that the reason they're told they have to go to the gym and cook organic food and have a perfect designer furniture and no wrinkles and no grey hairs it's just to make money out of them. It's just an industry. And I wish they understood that women's magazines are not on their side. They're giant press releases. They're shiny, very well done press releases. And having been the editor of Marie Claire magazine and been behind the scenes, as it were, it disabused me of that. It made me realise, actually, this is shocking. But I think it took me moving to the middle of nowhere with no shops, no fashion, no to realise. I think I had to sort of go cold turkey. I would say to women, don't be so hard on yourself. In the evening, sit down, have a glass of wine, look at the stars, stop being super busy, because it, you, you just get nowhere, you just drive yourself crazy. Just to slow down and enjoy life, I think.